In, in the first condition, it says that the federal ban is effective. During the ban, two thirds of the crime dropped by 7%. And uh, assault weapons are used for mass destruction. In the evidence, it says that they are weapons that are designed to, not to hunt animals but kill people. And in our second condition, it says about the Mexico. In the evidence, it says that over 65,000 successful trades of gun from Mexico to the US. And most of the weapons are used for crime in Mexico. And in the evidence about the guns come from other countries, it says that 2,600 something grenades are, are seized by the government. But in our evidence, it says that 65,000 guns are come from US. That's much more than 2,000 something. So if we stop these guns, then the crime rate in Mexico will decrease. And, and the crime rate in Mexico increase without the assault weapon ban. There's an additional 2,684 deaths a year. And in 1997, sorry, there was an assault weapon ban. That's why there is a drop of crime rate. So their evidence is actually agreeing to us. And condition three, con gun control is effective. Their evidence give us five reasons that why it isn't effective, but it, even though the five reasons is right, it still reduces the number of the guns. Police can trace the assault weapon easier and like get them. And also, it is not for self-defense because there's a quote, an AK-47 fires a military round and conventional home with drywall walls. I wouldn't be surprised if it went through six of them. If this gun can went through six of the walls, then it's like, Obviously, it's not used for self-defense. And also, Supreme Court decided that Miller's allowed the restriction for dangerous and unusual weapons. According to Copenhagen writer for Political, August 8, 2012, and Harris Scalia seems to indicate that the restriction on certain types of weapons remain constitutional. But he also said Miller allowing for limitation of the rights to bear arms supported by the tradition and prohibiting the carrying of dangerous and unusual weapons. This means that this evidence is from August 8, 2012. This means that the Congress says it is okay to take away dangerous and unusual weapons. In cross fire, my opponent says that um, we're taking away the Second Amendment rights, but law is changing every single time. It's because they can like make people's life better. So we're, we want to change Second Amendment law because we want to make people better. If you have assault weapons, it's just going to make people die. And Current court has const constantly upheld the ruling of Miller. According to Dr. Leon, political science, July 30, 2012, Miller, that was a little decision of debate as almost every court interpreted Miller as the rejecting the notion that Second Amendment provides individual a constitutional right to process a firearm. This means that almost every single court um, agreed to Miller. And also, it is used to defend terrorists because terrorists now have assault weapons. But if we ban the assault weapon, then terrorists have nowhere to get their assault weapon. So that means that the citizen will be safer and it's better. And if you have weapon, there's a higher risk of being shot because there, there's three reasons in this evidence. It says that when when you when you have assault weapon, it's more likely that you will be in a dangerous situation, and it's more likely that you will think like you can do more than you can. For these reasons, we both are pro. Thank you.